So here we are in North Bend at a very, very special and unique home that we're getting ready to sell. This house is a mid-mod retreat and it needs some work to get it ready for market. So I'm gonna take you along and show you the process that we take to get this house ready to, for market to maximize profit for my client. Here we go. This house needs a complete refresh. It had outdated fixtures, outdated flooring, outdated kitchen and bath. So our goal is to make it shine for today's modern buyer while keeping that mid-mod uniqueness and charm. So let's take a look and see what we're doing today. So as you can see on our mid-mod retreat refresh, we have a long ways to go, but we're making great progress. Right now, my contractors are painting the kitchen cabinets to really bring that kitchen out and make it shine. They do great work, they are detail-oriented, and I love how they help our clients get great results. We still have a long ways to go. We gotta figure out flooring, fixtures, appliances, and vanities. So we're gonna head to the stores and tie it all in together. All right, so we're on the road, heading to do some shopping for this mid-mod refresh, and we're gonna hit up the stores and the suppliers for flooring, fixtures, appliances, and vanities. And you might be wondering, why, why is Brian doing this? Well, part of my concierge services is to take on this responsibility to line up the timelines, to line up the contractors, and get things ordered uh, for my clients so that we can save them headaches, save them time, and ultimately it's a win-win situation because we can move quickly so we can get to market. So big windows all the way around. Yep, all the way. And then we are doing, um, <clears throat> pointing to the LVP that we matched. Uh, yeah. Is the um, master kitchen small? Yeah, I like that, I like that look. It's wide enough, but it's going to hide enough. Yep, yep, yep. It's not going to get those massive bikes. The mid-mod refresh is going to get which one of these. Which one should we pick? Hmm. Which one looks the best? Got that one. Got that one. Thanks, man. All right, yep. Appreciate it. Yep. Samples are heavy. Got to lift more. Ugh. So we just left the flooring store. We got the carpet ordered. We got some samples of that new flooring for the kitchen and the bathrooms. We're gonna take back to the house. And now it's time to grab some appliances, take a look at some fixtures, and see if we can get this thing going. Here we go. is electric. We need gas. I think I got the, uh, oh, that one's fancy. Nice. Oh, that one's cool. Look at that. 
<laughs> I like that. So we're looking for appliances that appeal to the most buyers possible. So we're gonna get something that's reliable, stainless steel, nice and clean, refreshing look. I'm gonna make people excited about that new kitchen. Does anyone else get overwhelmed with too many choices? I do. Uh, but here's what we're looking for. We're looking for that kind of mid-mod vibe to keep that character and charm. We're looking for fixtures that are a little unique and make a statement and pop. So, we'll see what we come up with. Look at that, huh? That's fancy. You like that one? <laughs> that thing's horrible. Striking out. Okay, we got the appliances ordered. They're on their way. I didn't quite find exactly what I was looking for for fixtures, so I'm gonna keep looking. And now we're gonna to head to our final stop of the day, and that is to take a look at some vanities. So here we go. Stores like this can have overwhelming choices, but I think the good news is I found the vanities that I need to tie it all in together for the bathrooms. So we're gonna head back to the house, check out the samples of the flooring, and see what we got. Let's go. So back at the house, we finished our shopping. We've got the floors on order, the appliances are on their way. In just a few short weeks, this mid-mod refresh will be all put together. You might be wondering why go through all this work? Why do it in a seller's market? And don't buyers just take everything as is? The answer is maybe, but we're not sure. What we are sure about is most buyers are looking for homes that match their mood boards, that are move-in ready, that they don't have to do anything. And buyers are competing so high at their purchase price that they often don't have the cash reserves to take on large, projects so put it all together for them and in three short weeks we're going to increase the value of this home by almost two hundred thousand dollars and see what happens for you to see what happens you're going to have to tune into the next video to see it all put together Remember, there's only one Snoqualmie Valley, there's only one Snoqualmie Valley real estate. I'm Brian Davis, I'll see you in the valley.